guys, it's Rachel here with Sensa Tempo County Corso with your official pup date. It's been a hot minute. I apologize, but I have been busy. Um, oh my god, dude, this puppy is so funny. This this new puppy we got. We're still trying to figure out a name for her. Um, hey Bella. Oh Bella's like, you better stay away from my babies. Oh lord. Um, she wants to come in. She's like, all right. That's it. You can let her in. Yeah. Bella, leave her alone. Go in here with your Bella. babies. No Move velocity. velocity. Back up. Oh gosh, puppy's crawling on my toe. Come on, Bella. Come on. Preacher, don't be all butt hurt. Nirvana's trying to climb on the counters. Oh, she better not. She's trying to eat. Nirvana, you better like get down right now. Velocity. You bad dog. Oh, her mom comes in here and she's like, it ain't me. Mom is like, Bonnie was doing it earlier. Yeah. Then. She was trying to eat food off the counter. I've been really like enjoying my time with Nirvana lately, really bonding with her a lot. Um, there's always like a special kind of relief whenever you've health tested a dog. Um, always, always, always. Like, you bond with them regardless. You love all your dogs, right? But yeah. whenever you finally know that they've gone through that, um, whenever you've been burned enough times where a dog didn't work out for, for health reasons, um, you learn to kind of, like, love them, but you kind of, like, keep a slight um, distance. No, I wouldn't say you keep a slight distance, but it's just, you. there's just, um, it's kind of like, you better get down! Nirvana. Um, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's hard to explain. But nonetheless. Um, Nirvana, come here. Nirvana, come here. Get over here. She's hungry. She wants the food. Oh, she must have been up on that counter. Get your butt over here now, Nirvana. Come. We have chairs that go onto our Let's go. Come here. And they'll occasionally go up. Now, Nirvana. Nirvana. Oh. Hold on, you film for a second. She's gonna get under Nirvana. Look at the cute baby. Look at the babies. Hello, babies. Bucky, 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 Bucky. They're both the troubles. You're so pretty, Bella. You're so pretty, Bella. Okay, let me see. Hi, babies. You can't move the camera so fast. All right. Hello, everybody. Yeah. It's Savuto. So. Oh, pretty Batista. You're going to pretty face Batista. So anyway, yeah. So they're almost a week old. They'll be a week old tomorrow. Um, that's the boy. We do have one boy. Um, I don't think that the guy that has first pick male is going to take him. So it's probably going to go to second pick male. Um, they, um, watch out, buddy. Um, Oh, yeah. um, she's angry. Oh, baby. And come. then. Oh, you want to lick her? Oh, they're going to pee on you. Ew. Ew. No, 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 no. I your told sister. you. Not on your sister, please. Yep. Ew. This one here, I swear, like, she almost doesn't look brindle. I mean, she has uh, some slight, some slight striping, but. I'll be really interested to see what she does as she grows. Because, I mean, I'm telling you, you really can't see much. Even this one here, you can't see very much on. She's um, got a wavier hair. But you can see a little bit. So. Her makes her look, her brindling makes her look like a lighter black dog. Yeah, almost like she has, like, some frosting on her black. Yeah. It's not. you creature it's, sometimes gets in the winter when he's yeah. not a lot of sunlight. It's just not uniform striping. Um, or no, not in the winter. In the the summer when this yeah, coat does lighten. Well, they their 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 hair can bleach. Yeah. So anyway, um, so a lot of people have been asking me about favorites. Obviously, they're way too young to know anything right now. Um, but of course, Savannah's f favorite is a Formentino. Um, we do spend a lot of time with her. I'm not gonna lie. It's a beautiful color. You know what I mean? It's an absolutely beautiful color. But and she's sweet. Uh, yeah, but you guys know me. I'm not going to pick on color. I am going to pick for the structure. Um, You're a good mama. Yes, you know, I, I do like to really evaluate puppies um, as they grow. I like to try to see if there's a way to kind of see things when they're young. Um, and so one of the things that I like about her is that her muzzle 
seems even um, whenever you look at it from the side. Her nose, um, her top jaw doesn't poke out more than her bottom jaw. It's very even. Um, and so, you know, that's something I like to see. Her feet look a lot better um, than this other female here. And even this female, I don't know if you can tell, but, um, but, um, uh, Belladonna doesn't have the best feet. Her feet are not horrible. Um, but they, and, her, and I will say her nails need to be cut, but nonetheless, her feet are not as tight as they could be. Whereas this puppy has really tight feet. So, um, that's one of the things, oh wait, she needs to pee more. So that's one of the things that I really like to see with her. Um, just, just little things that you can see now. Um, so I don't know if you can see, but like you can see how the tightness of that foot, right? And then let's take a look at this one. See if I can get, see if I can get a good view of it. You all done going potty now, little girl? I don't know if you can see, but the toes mm. are kind of spread out a little bit more. Oh no. What? The tail got a little. Oh, it's fine. It's just healing. <laughs> the other one I think are even worse. Mm. Um, oh, chiqu little Chiquita. Watch out. Move. She's like, come here, baby. Come here, sugar. I'm she sorry. She has such separation anxiety, you guys. She's yeah, so this little bond. this little puppy we just brought in. Um, she cannot be away. Does not like to be away from us at all. We have a hard time kennel training. Yeah, my her. daughter is like so connected to her. Like, she scratched up my face and it hurts so bad. Yeah, she's all about the kisses, she all comes about the in, love. She just, la, 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 and you're like, ah, no. Mm hmm. Batiste, to be quiet. I played a trick on her earlier today. I was laying in bed over here. And I had her right there, and I was covering up my face, and I was playing, like, peekaboo with her, and she got really mad. She came up, and I didn't see her coming, and she just <laughs> got me right in the face. That's funny. Um, it's like if a baby hits you in the face. You're just like, yeah, so her and Savannah have been bonding quite a bit. Um, kissy, kissy. Ew. Yeah, so she's really a cutie, really mm -hmm. sweet little girl. Oh Haven't figured out a name for her yet. She's tough, oh man. Um, oh, oh, she's going to clean her babies. Uh, maybe actually now I can kind of get you a better view of them feet. Um, watch out. You see, you see that how those feet um, kind of separate on this little on this little black brindle. You see that? You see that right there? Versus looks more like a bear claw. This versus this one. Um, the feet are. She's kind of separating them. Yeah, she is kind of separating them a little bit right now. But if you saw... Really, Bella? Cut it out. She's like, let me see the um, See, there you go. Yeah. So anyway, both have huge feet. Turn her over and let me do the finger thing on the on the bottom pad. Oh, the bottom pad. Like, do her on her belly. Okay, so I like to do this. I like to take my finger and just show you how... Big their paw. How big the paw is. <laughs> big old paw. And those heads... Her head is about the size of my palm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're she's a two. They're, they're yeah, they're decent. They're like I said, they're not even a week old, and they're quite quite substantial. And then you know, Belladonna's not a small dog, so she's actually one of my bigger females. Um, so you know, I'm thinking these are going to be um, some pretty big females. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. You know, to seeing what they do, and. Um, Luckily, one of these females, the second pick female, is actually going to a show home. So I'm really excited about that, too. Hey, what are you doing in there, little bit? Cat probably heard her. Mm. Um, so anyway, so that's exciting because I do think <laughs> that there's some really, Bella, some really great potential in this litter for that. And I really can't wait to see um, our program, our dogs out there in the show ring, really showing um, all the hard work that we've put into bringing in um, really good dogs and with the pairing of the structure that we've done, you know? That puppy breath is really something. And so, yeah, really excited about, like, I feel like I can actually breathe when it comes to Nirvana because I, um, you know, I, 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 I took a lot of time to think about breeding Blondie's mom, or uh, breeding Blondie, and um, just kind of made... Um, you know, educated decision on the fact that Blondie's, um, her, all of her genetics, all the dogs from her litters and everything have all had just phenomenal hips, right? Just excellent hips. And so we don't know if she had an injury or something. It was something that, um, was a possibility as to how that could have happened with her one loose hip. But, um, 
Some but nonetheless, how much she was jumping around as a young. Mm-hmm. But nonetheless, um, you know, it's you know, whenever you are breeding, you never know what's going to happen. And so, I was just to see that that um, that Nirvana's hips are good. Um, that there isn't like one hip that's really looser than the other. There's nothing like that. And to see that, to know that 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 she w is exactly what I wanted her to be, right? So okay, I talked a lot about the fact that I wanted um, and valued Blondie's temperament. And, um, and that's exactly what Nirvana has. And everybody who's around Nirvana loves her. When I've had people want to come meet the dogs, I'll always bring Nirvana because Nirvana is such... No. A, um, she's such a, you know, a loving and just a great example of the breed and, um, and people just fall in love with her and they're willing to wait. I've had people, they're just like, you know, let me know whenever you breed her and Mad Mortigan, that's what they want. And they don't care how long they have to wait to get it, which is funny because that's how people are with Preacher. There are people that will wait a year. Um, really dude, you better get down. Um, there are people that will wait a year for a Preacher pup. Oh, yeah. And so, um, Nirvana, Nirvana has that same potential. Eight. Um, one. can you scoop, yeah. can you scoop her up? Yes. You better cut it out. She's like, let me lick your iPad. Um, and so anyway, so just knowing that we reached that milestone, now we have one more, <laughs> we have one more test and that's that one she's one able test. to go through a successful heat cycle, right? She, she has to be able to do that. Um, Odds are she'll be fine, you know what I mean? Um, but obviously, the stakes are even higher now. Um, hoping that really, no, do, yeah, bad idea, mm -mm, bad idea. No baby so the, in a box, okay. no baby in a box. So, the the like I said, the the stakes are even higher now as far as um, you know, really kind of clearing that last hurdle with her. Um, so um, yeah, so I'm just really excited about it. Really, really happy about it. Um, no, no. I love her to death. She no. like, even, even whenever we went really dude. Oh, why on me? He's butt. You're a butt. You're heavy too. Go away. Go away. Oh, he's such a butt. Go away. So, um, so even whenever we got the pen hip scores done, which I did get the results today, all of the dogs passed their hip scores. Um, so, in fact, they're all above average. Um, every last one of them. So, yeah. So, um, so good good stuff there. I still think I'm going to redo... I don't know. Some people have told me they don't understand why I would even want to redo them because they're all passing and they're all above average. But I want to know what the actual number is. I'm like... I'm actually slightly competitive in this area. Which is and yeah, I'm picky, and I I really want to know. I don't. I feel like I could have gotten better scores, and her standards are a bit. And I'm yeah, they are a little high. And um, like I said, a lot of people would stop at just knowing they're good and knowing they're passing. And maybe I will. Maybe I will. Uh, maybe it is a stupid thing to risk. You know, putting them. Yeah, you know, putting them under anesthesia just for a better score. I don't know. Maybe that's stupid of me. It probably is. Whatever. Um. Yeah, okay, so I won't. Whatever. I really... Whatever. I won't. I will not. I will not. It's it's the right thing to do. I will not. Okay. Um. So anyway, I won't. I promise I won't. Um. But nonetheless, um, yeah, everybody passed, even with the funky x-ray um, on, on Valak. So, so yeah. I'm um, trying to think of what else. I can't think of what I, I had something else in my head and then I forgot it. I need to sneeze. You need to sneeze? I probably won't sneeze now that I know I need to sneeze. Yeah, I know. I hate that. I hate how that is. So now my nose like you're aware like, of it yeah, and know. then you have to like try to force it out and then sometimes you get like a half sneeze <laughs> instead of the full sneeze. <gasps> yeah. Don't you hate that? And then you're exhausted. Yeah. So anyway, but yeah, these pups are gorgeous. I would be happy with any of them. Um, I mean, this one here is like straight beast mode. This is the one that whenever she came out before, I was just like, holy shoulders. And even her rear is just really thick. I like a lot about her. Um, which one did you pull out that was like, I pulled out of the sack and you were like surprised it was alive. Um, I think Dude, they are aggressive I with can't these. remember. I think it was this one here. 
I think it was this one here. Okay, and then I pulled her out without the sack. The Formentino, I pulled her out. Okay. Oh my god, you're gonna steal it. No, don't steal oh, it. Oh yeah, they'll push each other right off. Um, give me that right mm -hmm. there. I hear I hear that you're having a okay. Yep. So yeah, so you know, I would be happy with any any of these dogs for sure. I do think that in my in my heart of hearts, I think it's probably gonna be one of these two, even though I like the Formentino a lot. I think structurally it's going to be one of these two, probably even me. maybe this one. Um, but who knows? The Formentino might kick in. It's just typically, I'm not going to lie, typically Formentinos are, they just are not usually the strongest dogs structurally. They're beautiful, but they usually are not the strongest dogs. That's why, that's why a, a, a good Formentino is worth their weight in gold because they have the complete package. You know what I mean? Looks and um and structure and it's not to say that um the other dogs don't have looks but there is a lot of truth to the fact that a formentino they get a lot of attention in the show ring um they you know the people just like them and so they they do well in a ring so even even dogs that like they'll beat out dogs that um maybe are a little less than them in structure but these these dogs are fancier colors so they'll they'll beat them out um Jonah mom has italian in her italian. oh yeah yeah my mom shared with me in fact i get i did buy i bought the ancestry.com thing my mother shared with me um her she got our ancestor her ancestry done um i had always said so we, i always knew we had a bunch of maltese in us but because my grandpa's Maltese, but my mother used to, or I used to say Italian because most people didn't know what Maltese was. And, and I would t tell people, oh, we're Maltese. And they would say, oh, you mean the Maltese Falcon? And I'd be like, okay. Um, so I would just say Italian, especially because the Sicilians settled Malta. Um, they populated Malta. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people have, but nonetheless, there's a lot of Italians there. So I always figured whatever, we're Italian. And... So she called me to let me know that I was half right, but that we, we do um, have mostly Maltese, but Malta is separated um, by the people that have inhabited it. And I do have a great grandpa that was 100% Italian, which... I think we had a Giovanni. His something. name was, yeah, his name was Giovanni. 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 Um, which is funny. Um, so, yeah, and... Uh, I think I'm Mary Mamo. I like Mamo. Mamo, yeah. Um, so anyway, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and I got mine, uh, my ancestry.com, just to see what mine is because um, obviously I have you know my own dad, so we'll get to see what he brings to the table. He had always told me that uh, he has a bunch of Native American in me or in him. And so, <clears throat> I would be interested to see if that's true. I probably pulled from my mom's dad's side. You, yeah, you probably did. Her, she probably pulled from my from my dad's side because my dad um, has the blonde hair and the blue eyes. It's not really um, a trait that my that my family has. We do have a couple redheads with green eyes, we but no in fact, actually, my aunt has one green eye, one blue eye, and it's not from Ireland. It's actually English. Um, which I think is That's interesting. Right. My British voice is real. <laughs> Just it's not. <laughs> oh my God, y'all! She actually went there. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so it'd be interesting to see. Um, I've always just said we're American because most Americans are are a, a you know a combination of a bunch of a bunch of ethnic groups. Um, you know, we're kind of a melting pot. So to me, it's interesting, but. I'm not going to go around waving like a Maltese flag or anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but it is cool to see. You should visit there sometime. Um, yeah. So, nonetheless, that's where we're at. Long video. My bad. Little pup date. Little puppy puppies. Um, our little fawn boy is starting to, try to, to start, starting to try to catch up a little bit in size. He's a, a super lazy boy. Um, he sleeps so much. And when they sleep a lot, they don't they don't grow a lot because no, you would think they would because they're sleeping, but that means they're also not eating a lot. So size can be very deceptive when you're dealing with puppies in a whelping box because basically the dogs that eat the most are the dogs that grow the most. 
Um, and it isn't a predeterminer of size. So that's just something to keep You're in mind. Cute. Oh my God, Savannah is so in love with this puppy. I'm gonna put you back with your mama though, cause your mama's freaking out. She's yeah. freaking out. Freak out. Yeah, so we'll have to weigh all the pros and cons um, of the pups, you know what I mean? Um, I am a bit of a stickler for feet. Um, and feet are very important because feet are what hold up the dog. You don't want to have loose feet in a breed as large as these. They're supposed to have cat-like feet, very tight feet. Um, so that's a definite plus for this puppy. Doesn't it also affect the pastures or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can, like it can make legs. them, yeah, because there's not enough support for the front, especially on a heavy dog. So um, anyway, so we'll see. Um, some areas where I probably will not be willing to, to kind of... Uh, what's the word like um, sacrifice on would be the rear you know what I mean like I it's very important to have a really good rear it's very important to have a really good front so overall the dog that I choose will be will have the best angles um, you know the best rear the best front best top line those are all very very important things and hopefully you know we'll get we'll get the complete package there's no telling yet but hopefully we will. So that's where we're at. And hope you guys enjoyed this little update. And um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.